guys and welcome to another video blog. Um, I am sharing today a video that's actually talking through our newest task management system that we love and it's called Trello and it's free which is awesome. Um, so I blogged about this like a month ago I believe and um, I just did a basic post where I shared some screenshots of our board um, but I wanted to walk through with a screen capture of me actually working through Trello so that you could see how I use it and how Michael and I use it in our business. So really quick, the reason we love Trello is because our business has in, evolved into a season where there's a lot of different components. And so maybe you're in a season where you have an assistant or you have multiple areas of your business, like we have blogging and then speaking and then um, wedding clients and then the shop, stuff like that. We just needed a way to communicate better. Um, and we needed something that wasn't paper-based. Now, I love pretty paper, and I love cute planners and all that stuff, um, so it kind of breaks my heart to go all online, but I know that it's what we needed to do, and it works really well. So I'm gonna get on the computer and show you how I work through um, the boards and the cards and the list, and just kind of define all that for you, and then show you our system. So enjoy, and let's head over to the computer. Hey guys, we are now inside my computer, and I'm gonna show you a few things in Trello that will hopefully make it easier for you to get started on your own. So the first thing is um, that you need to know is that Trello is divided up into a few different types of things. So there are boards, and boards are basically your own working to-do list for one category. And to be honest, I thought that Michael and I were going to use all of these different boards, um, but we're learning that we really only need three boards right now, um, and we're gonna start filling in these other boards as we have more things to put in them. Um, workshops is the next board we're gonna start using, but we're still getting the hang of this, and so um, what we realize is that I need my own board, which is this, and then Michael has his own board, which is um, here, all right? And they look a little bit different, um, but I'm gonna explain to you why, why they look different and all the different things you can do. So those are the boards, and we divide them up between people, but you could divide them up between categories. Um, I actually don't use them for categories. I use them for people, and I divide categories up by labels, which I'll explain in a second. So inside a board are lists. So this is an urgent list, a shoots in progress list, a to-do list, and then a done list, and then an ongoing list. And the cool thing about Trello is that you can make it however you want to. There's no set way. So like. I created the ongoing list and it just stays there because these are processes that we are constantly having to do. So for example, this weekend we're shooting a wedding in Williamsburg and so after I shoot the wedding, um, I'll go in here and I'll click copy because um, basically what this is is a card. So a card within a list, let me explain that first, a card within one of these lists is an individual task that you want to get done and sometimes if it's a multi um, faceted task, then you can create um, kind of like a template. So when you click this, then you see what we do for every single wedding. And Michael has a checklist on that list, and I have a checklist as well. So this weekend, what I'll do is I'll go to post wedding process, and I'm gonna create a copy of this, and I'm gonna label it whatever the couple's um, name is. So Zane and Lauren are this weekend and you're going to create that card. So now I have a brand new post-wedding process and I'm going to add that to my shoots in progress. And once I work through everything on my checklist within the card, then I'm going to send it over to Michael so he can finish his. Um, the other thing that's really interesting is that, um, or that I like, is that when you click this, it starts to show you the checklist of what's being done and it's really awesome. Um, so Lists are these individual things, and I like to have like an urgent list where Michael, um, I think we're going to change his to more of just one to-do list because that's how his brain works, and I like having urgent because I'll drag over like, okay, I really need to submit this today, and um, but the other way you could do this instead of having an urgent list is you could just put a time limit on an individual task. So say I want to do this by tomorrow, I want to save that. And now I have a time limit, and as soon as I get to one day in advance, I'll get an email notification about it. The interesting thing is, is when you're sharing work with people, like if this needed to go to Michael, I could either move it to Michael's board here, on, on his urgent board. How about I just put it on his to-do list? And I'm going to make it first thing on his list. 
So I could either move it like that, which now when he logs in, he'll see it, or let's move this back to me. The other option is, go to my list, or my board, sorry. Um, the other option is, if I want Michael to be added to this board, all I have to do is add him as a member, which he already is here. So when you put someone as a member, what happens is that they get notifications instantly um, and they can track that separately. So um, here's how you do it for here. So say Michael needed to be added, you click members, he would get a notification actually to his Apple Watch because he's fancy. And, um, and now he would get notifications. We have found that it's actually better to move it to his actual board so he can see it when he logs in. Um, but basically that's how we use that. So if you see over here like Zach Gray's blog post, I did that last week and it expired um, when I needed to get it to him by, so that's why that's red. Um, these labels, um, anything that's e-shoot related is going to be yellow. Anything that's about a wedding is going to be labeled blue. And albums are labeled pink. So um, there's also a really great app that allows us to get a lot of work done as well. So not every single to-do list, like this is literally just order a test e-shoot book. There's no checklist, there's no nothing, it's just a basic task item. Um, whereas for this, there's going to be a whole system within that card that I need to take care of. Um, and I think it's really cool because every time I realize there's a system for something, I come over here and I make a list. So our album process, I'm like, why am I doing this? I need to make sure that um, I have a system laid out that Michael can help me with. So it's been really cool for us because it's like I have my own little world and then Michael has his own little world over here. Um, and we're also, if you noticed here, this is my sister's board because my sister is helping us out with a lot of things. And so I can transfer things to her as well. Um, so the app is great because I get notifications to my phone. Um, but I think this is about it. I labeled or I listed out all the different types of things. So you have boards, which are here. And then you have lists, which are these individual columns. And then you have cards within the list. So this is one, two, three, four, five different cards. And then within a card, you can set up a checklist like this. So Michael has done his checklist. That's wonderful. Um, so anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope you can kind of get a grasp on um, how we're using it. Our goal in the future um, is to hopefully, once things pick up, um, like say we're getting ready to do a workshop, it may get a little bit crazy if I have a collection checklist and a workshop checklist and all that stuff so if that happens we will just start a workshop board um, and start using that but right now we just use these three and they're working great and we love it so hopefully you love this hopefully you got a lot out of it and I'm really glad you tuned in um, so yeah I'll say goodbye in a second so I hope that was helpful and hopefully after watching us do a few things on the computer, you can start using Trello for yourself. Um, we really love it and it's been a game changer for us and it takes some getting used to. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a great system and it's free so you might as well give it a shot. So I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully you'll tune in next time. Bye!